Hi, everyone. I'm here as always for our weekly little chat with Dr. Nario. Thanks for being here, Dr. Nario. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. All right. So we're going to talk about another peptide. I love it when you bring these peptides that I haven't heard about to the table. But uh, Dr. Nario is at Biointegrative Health Center. You can check them out online. That's in Reno, Nevada. Easy to find. And you can see all the different treatments they do, a lot of IV treatments. But uh, go check them out if you want to learn more. So we're going to talk about a peptide that is for the brain. So tell me what it's called. Oh, well, Steve, this is what we call VIP, meaning vasointestinal peptide. Not very important person, but you can try to remember that through through that the abbreviation. But the, why I choose to present this one is because it's something that actually made an impact in in my practice. So there, I, I I specialize in mold as well, and also the condition called CIRS or chronic inflammatory response syndrome. And one of the things that, that the pathology does in terms of damage is actually to the brain. So we have what we call the nucleus of the brain. These these microorganisms, these mycotoxins, they want to go there and destroy that. And when we thought that once brain tissue is destroyed, you're not going to get it back. But with this one, you will. So this is one of the things that I'll discuss in a bit. But I just want to give you a little preview, a little teaser on what it is. And also, it's not new. It was discovered in the 1960s. It actually was used as a what we call vasodilator or something that opens your blood vessels up. up to actually control your blood pressure. And it's a neuropeptide or brain peptide made of 28 amino acids. And it's also like BPC, we were having a conversation a while ago with Steve, that it was isolated initially from the intestines. So, but it, yeah. it is found throughout the body also. And again, when I mentioned about the brain, it's found in the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system. And it has so many roles in, in our bodies May it be a neurotransmitter function, a neuromodulator, and even a hormone. Okay, so now you mentioned that you use this in your practice and that it works. How long <clears throat> does it usually take before people notice a benefit? Have you paid attention to that or have you kind of made a mental note of that? And remember, everybody, just to just to remind you, a peptide is a short chain of amino acids, which the doctor just said. It's a short chain of amino acids, um, which comes from the protein that we eat. But do you notice the first week? Does it take a year? What's the process? Uh, Steve, well, in, in my situation here is I use VIMP mostly with the chronically ill meaning they're already pathologically damaged in the brain. And usually these are the, the biotoxin or mycotoxin ill patients that I have. So when we talk about responses, you're definitely going to see this not in a few weeks or a few days. We're talking about months, minimum of six months. And the good thing about this is um, I use it as, a, of course, as a nasal spray. And you would notice also if you are going to be something that who, somebody who's going to be using this in that state of chronicity, it will be a ramp up. First, you're going to be using one spray, then two sprays, three sprays for the reason that there are actual possible side effects for this. It's not something that you just do and out of the fly, just go for the jugular. And we always have this edict that brain tissue is harder to regenerate compared to other tissues. And, and that's why it takes a little process to build these neur neurons or synapses that we have. So uh, with this wrap up schedule, it takes a little time until you get to usually 30 to 90 days, you're probably gonna get to your stable dosing already. And also in um, uh, with, with the final dosing, it's always should be like um, three sprays four times a day. And with, with this, there's always something that you need to keep an eye out for, even what we call um, the pancreas. They get, they get affected by this. So the, the levels you need to check all the time. And even um, also you need to make sure you do regular blood testing for kidney and function. And that's why six months is probably in my short, to, my, to shorten my answer there. Six months 
is where we see activity, where brain starts to grow again, meaning brain function in accordance to an MRI. So we, we, we use a, a, state, a, a, a device called NeuroQuant, and that will be the one that will show you from baseline to where you are, that there will be what we call regeneration uh, in a way. Okay, so you're checking blood work with this, like you do in, you know, with so many things. Right. And now you're measuring what brain activity with the the test that you're doing at six months into this, or is it, how how are you tracking the results? Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> with the MRI. Yes. So with MRI, it's well again with MRIs, you don't want to use that to. As, as tracking parameters. The reason why it's so expensive, you can't do MRIs every three, four months. So the suggestion for for uh, neuroquants or MRIs would be if really you want to see it six months, but usually maybe a year because you want to use the clinical presentation of the patient in relation to your assessment. They will tell you, I'm remembering things now. Everything's just clear. Uh, I can actually think and, and be myself again. So these are better uh, reasons for you to continue. And that's why blood test is a more reasonable way to monitor the continuous use of the IP rather than just doing repetitive MRIs. Yeah. So the blood work is making sure that they're not going to have different side effects, right? Or that's doing right. damage. So that was going to be my next question. And you just kind of touched on it is what is the response of the people? And you said, Hey, I'm remembering things. I'm thinking better. And what they usually, do you usually start to hear this from most of your patients, like at the six month mark? And what, what are, can you give us a little more detail? This is pretty cool on right. what the things that they tell you. Right. Well, Steve, the, the one that I, again, I tell you about are what we call the SIRS patient. There's the CIRS patients are the mycotoxin infested patients. And these are chronically ill. So that's why when you actually go through, I use a protocol, it's called the Shoemaker protocol, and you have to go through steps. It's not like from the get-go, you're going to use VIP immediately. You have to clear flags and checkpoints here before you actually deserve to get to VIP. So that's why when you get to that point, that's already a, a, a time frame of months, like six to eight months before getting to VIP. That's why when VIP gets into the picture, the slightest benefit of wow i can actually remember a name who i actually like met somebody yesterday and still remember it now the smallest thing these these people appreciate and they actually do backflips about this because they don't have that ability when they didn't use vip at the beginning so yes six months is just the smallest thing but let's talk about normal people maybe that's that's something that you probably are interested also in knowing do i give this to normal individuals sometimes yes and because of the different benefits that it brings to the table. So that's why there are benefits for, for, for healthy individuals and also benefits for sick individuals. Okay, so the healthy individuals, and, and it's like my brain is just spinning right now. So <laughs> uh, first, a lot of these people that have um, the issues – what caused these? You said you're treating mold. Could it be mold or what What are some of the, because if you guys have uh, questions, put them in the comment section. If you want to know more about this, maybe this applies t- to you out there listening. What caused, for some of your patients, what caused the problem? All right. So Steve, when you talk about brain conditions, so brain conditions could be in so many forms. The, the first thing that comes in our heads usually would be the common Alzheimer's, MS, Parkinson's, right? So they are candidates for, for such. But the thing here also, when you talk about other causes that are not known, so there are also what we call like, yes, mold illness, Lyme, um, even, even a, a brown recluse spider bite can actually go to the brain and destroy that and even algae blooms. So all of these are, are are spitting out chemicals that actually destroys your brain. And, and that's why there's so many myriads of, of these possible causes for brain to react this way. But I also have patients who just, hey, I want something to boost my brain. So sure, I have right. those the extremes and also from the beginning 
and also from the end of the extreme, um, uh, I guess, uh, coverage. So I have used that in, in patients. Okay, so let's go to the healthy side of this, like you said. So I'm in my 60s, mm-hmm. and this is something that I would benefit from. Right. So what would it do for me? Right. So for your situation, there are different benefits that VIP also carries. Number one, you have to remember, VIP also was a vasodilator. I think I mentioned that at the beginning. It controls blood pressure. So patients who actually has high blood pressure, it can be, well, that's not for healthy. But for people who want to assist their, their blood pressure management, this is also something that they can use. This is a vasodilator. Patients who has a lot of inflammation, right? Inflam- exercising, a lot of uh, fat load or, or um, adipose tissue. VIP has a very uh, anti-inflammatory um, capacity to lower down cytokines and even uh, lower down the, the immune response. Gastrointestinal, vasointestinal peptide. It definitely helps heal the gut because it, it irons out all these little holes that we have. And that's why it's something that not only works for the brain, because we always have this uh, gut-brain connection, but it also helps with the gut, uh, gut barrier or prevention of leaky gut and the, respiration, uh, the respiratory system. So this is something that I always like to use for patients who has like asthma or COPD for the reason that it actually improves oxygenation and increases the airways where these air, um, inhaled air passes through to release more carbon dioxide. And a, a good study for you is they actually use this for COVID. And the thing here is the ones who actually use VIP when they were having COVID has a better survival and also less respiratory failure. So as you can see, the, dyna- the, the dynamic characteristic of this, this peptide is out there. Even brain, uh, as I said, brain, but now we're talking about the brain clock or circadian rhythm. It also helps uh, make you adjust your, your, your body clock the right way. Even for hormones, you know, I like hormones. I, I like to play around with things that it would improve it. So this will improve also growth hormone, for example, even insulin to control blood sugar. Um, the heart, another one that benefits this would be also to prevent um, cardiac inflammation or lower down heart failure. And lastly, the immune system. The immune system, it, uh, if you have a disarrayed immune system, as I mentioned about covid you know, interleukins, enzymes are being created to make your body flare up. VIP comes in there and says to everybody, calm down, everyone. Let's calm down and let's just give the inflammation the proper amount so that we can kill the infection and may not be too much at the point that we're going to put the patient in danger. So, so many things, Steve. Yeah, well, once you said it, it has a positive effect on inflammation, I mean, we'd be here all day. You could make a list of stuff that that's going to help when you reduce inflammation in in your body. Right. We could be here all day with you telling us a list of all the positive effects that's going to have, right? That's true. We can go all day. Yeah. So this is this uh, is called VIP. Mm-hmm. Is there any last comments that you would want to make? You know, and, and everyone, you're going to hear some more because I'm excited because, you know, the doctor is going to his usual Las Vegas convention where there's going to be learning some functional stuff. And you you said that you're going to be getting some more and new research on some other peptides, right? All right. So we're going to get all the meat for you guys to hear so you, everybody can be in the know. All right. So you got to stay tuned <laughs> for those new ones coming up. Any last things that you would say about VR, VIP that maybe I didn't? ask about or that's unique or anything that you can think of? Well, VIP, as you can see, is basically a jack of all trades. But as I tell you, this has worked wonders for patients of mine who who actually could not make their brain function. And these are the ones that are really ill, especially from mold illness. Um, and But again, healthy people can use it also. And other things that I didn't mention, there's an IV form, but it's only used for experimental reasons. So don't look for one. It's, uh, it was, that's the one that they use on the COVID studies. And also, it also goes along well with other peptides. So we were just talking about BPC-157. 
and it has been vouched for by other practitioners that these are actually producing better benefits. And even, um, I guess, the biohackers, as we call them, uh, has used this not only through the common route is always intranasal sprays, but subcutaneous injections are also available. Go to your doctor, somebody who's educated to help you out with this. Wow, that sounds amazing. All right, everyone, if you have questions, um, put them in the comment section. We've now created um, a watch list, a playlist where you can see all the interviews that I've done with uh, Dr. Nario throughout this last year. So it's easy if you want to see other interviews with him, you can just hit that uh, playlist and watch other videos that different topics that we've talked about. So Dr. Nario, thank you so much for being with us as always. Well, as you all know, Steve, uh, again, thank you so much for having me. As you all know, our knowledge is your power to better health. And thank you for letting me provide you with the edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge. <laughs>